So in a previous video, we saw how to log in in Docker Playground. So in this video, let's see more about Docker Playground. If you might remember Docker setup, first layer is infrastructure layer where we will need actual hardware. Okay, it could be server, it could be machine, it could be anything, but it we will need a hardware. On top of the hardware, we will need host operating system. So in this Docker Playground case, that host operating system is going to be Alpine Linux. Okay, and on this operating system, we will need to install Docker engine to work with Docker. So in this Docker Playground, we do not have to set up anything. Everything is already set up. So that means your Docker engine is already installed on Docker Playground. So whenever we will start, we will only play with containers and we will play with Docker commands. All in all, we can see we do not have to set up anything. Okay. So let's so let's quickly start new session. So if you see here, our session is started. So in a Docker Playground, every session is of four hours. Make sure whenever you are practicing, do not consider this as a permanent solution. This is just for the practice purpose. As soon as this session get close, you will lose your entire data. So make sure you will back up your data, back up your work manually before you close this session. So let's see what all options we have. So first is this timer. So you need to keep your eyes on this timer. Timer will come down to zero zero. Your session will automatically get close. Okay. Then you can launch another session and, and practice again. This close button will help you to close your session. If you're done with your practice, you can close this session. Or even if you don't close this session, you close this tab. This playground will close your session automatically. Okay. Then you have this setting button. So here we have three options. We can create three managers, two workers, five manager, no worker, or one manager, one worker servers. So this is going to be useful in our upcoming videos when we will learn about Docker Swarm. For now, let's just close this. Then there is setting button. So this setting button is about keyboard shortcuts, which we can use here. Okay. If you have Mac operating system, you can configure this accordingly. But for now, I'll keep it as a none. Okay. And then you can also play with font size if you want. And these are three mostly useful keyboard shortcuts. Okay. So we are going to use this keyboard shortcuts. But before that, we will need to launch our instance. So launching instance is nothing but creating server. So let's quickly launch our instance. Okay. And if you see here, we got node one, and then we have this instance ID. And then we will get IP address automatically allocated. We can also see our memory and CPU utilization. Each instance will have four gigs of RAM. And currently, in my case, RAM utilization is 1%. Then they also provide SSH login credentials. And then if you want to delete this instance, you can click on this delete button. Then we have this editor option. So this editor option giving all the file structure which we have inside this launched instance. So currently we, we have only one folder, but if I create another folder, let's say demo folder. And now if I click on this editor, so you will see demo folder is now created and this is nothing but your terminal. Okay. So now let's try to use this keyboard shortcuts and see how it works. So in order to toggle terminal on a full screen, we will have to press alt enter keyboard shortcuts. If I press alt enter, now we have full screen terminal. Okay. You can use same keyboard shortcut to exit full screen. Okay. Then, okay. If you want to increase font size, you have to press control plus plus. So if I press control plus plus, I can increase size of font inside the terminal. Okay. I can use control minus minus in order to reduce font size. Okay. So this is the basic introduction of Docker Playground instance. I think that's enough for this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.